This September, France will play host to the 10th edition of the Rugby World Cup in what will be the bicentenary year of the invention of the sport. This will be the first time that France has solely hosted the tournament, having co-hosted it in 2007 and 1991. In this video, we will unveil the stories behind the host cities and their stadiums and have a look at the big matchups which will be taking place come September. Initially, 12 cities were selected throughout France to host the tournament, but this list was eventually reduced to nine, with the final host cities being Paris, Marseille, Lyon, Lille, Bordeaux, Saint-Étienne, Nice, Nantes and Toulouse. Spreading across all corners of France, each city and stadium will provide something completely unique for the travelling fans to enjoy on and off the pitch. So let's have a look at what lies in store. Bordeaux. When you think of Bordeaux, first and foremost it's wine that comes to mind. And with 7,000 winemakers in the region, and the city officially being coined the global capital of wine, I'm sure travelling fans will not be short of a glass or two when the city hosts five group matches at this year's World Cup. When you visit Bordeaux, it's not just about wine though. Water is important too. A stroll along the banks of the River Garonne and the estuary of the Gironde reveals some of the most stunning cathedrals, notable art museums and public gardens in Europe. But nothing is more charming than the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Port de la Lune, which is a natural harbour located in the old town of the city. Stade de Bordeaux, where the rugby will be taking place, opened its doors in May 2015, and less than two weeks later, it hosted the semi-finals of the top 14 playoffs. Rugby returned to the venue in 2019, when over 42,000 fans filled the stands to watch Stade Toulousien take on Stade Rochelet in the top 14 semi-finals, an attendance that remains the stadium record. The stadium will host the world number one side Ireland's opening match against Romania on the 9th of September, and the city will also get to witness defending champion South Africa take on Romania a week later, as they bid to become only the second team in history to defend their title. Lille. Head 800 kilometers northeast towards the Belgian border, and you'll find Lille, which may be France's most underrated metropolis. Recent decades have seen the country's fourth largest city transform from an industrial centre into a glittering cultural and commercial hub. Highlights include its enchanting old town, with magnificent French and Flemish architecture, renowned art museums, stylish shopping, outstanding cuisine, and a nightlife scene bolstered by over 67,000 university students. It also boasts the Stade Pierre Moroy, which can hold over 50,000 spectators and will host five pool matches during the World Cup. Built as a home for Lille OSC, Stade Pierre Moroy was opened in August 2012 and three months later hosted its first rugby match as France beat Argentina 39-22. Thanks to the ingenious design of the stadium, it can easily be configured for other events and has consequently hosted three Davis Cup finals, several high-profile music concerts, and is set to host the handball and basketball tournaments at next year's Olympics. English fans will get to know both the city and stadium intimately, as it will host two of their group matches against Chile and Samoa, as well as hosting the host nation France's second round match against Uruguay. England and Wales fans are going to love this. We're going to sail down the French Riviera for the England v Japan and Wales v Portugal games, all aboard a luxury floating resort. And the good news is, you can come and join us. I want more details. Firstly, who's, do you drive a boat? Do you ride a boat? What do you do? Do you skipper the boat who's skipper in the boat who's skipper in it you you're our skips jim if that's what i wanted you to say yeah yep. so i'm skippering and where's it going from and to it's going from marseille to toulon right we sold the people the dream and the road just get on the boat everyone pod 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 rugby pod leon 700 kilometers directly south of lille is one of france's oldest cities leon located in the heartland of france and reputed as the gourmet capital of the world its large historic centre, Le Vieux Lyon, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has the largest ensemble of Renaissance buildings in Europe. If you visit Lyon this World Cup, then make sure you indulge in their incredible food scene and don't miss out on sampling Lyon's signature dish of pike dumplings served with a creamy crayfish, lobster or mushroom sauce, known as Canel de Brochet. The OL Stadium, which was opened in January 2016, will host five group stage matches and has already played host to some incredible rugby matches, including the European Champions Cup and Challenge Cup Finals. Wales and Australia are scheduled to compete in the first match at the stadium on the 24th of September, and with hosts France, Italy and New Zealand also due to pass through the city, fans with tickets for Lyon should be in for a real treat. Toulouse, once the capital of the Viscos and now the capital of the air and space industry, Toulouse is also the capital and beating heart of French rugby. It lays host to the most successful team in the country in Stade Toulousien, who've won an unprecedented five European Cups and 20 league titles. 
Located in the southwest of France, Toulouse, known as the Pink City, will be hosting five matches during the World Cup, but not at Stade Toulousien's traditional home in the Stade Ernest Wellen, known as the Temple of the Oval Ball, but at the Stadium de Toulouse. The historic stadium has had a long association with rugby, however, having served as a home for Stade Toulousien during the European Champions Cup matches, and has also hosted matches in the 98 Football World Cup, Euro 2016, and the two previous editions of the Rugby World Cup. The stadium, which is actually located on the island of Remier in the River Gironde, right in the heart of Toulouse, will see the likes of three times world champions New Zealand take on Namibia and also see Portugal, who are back for only their second World Cup appearance, 16 years after their first, taking on an incredibly dangerous Fiji side. Marseille. Marseille is the oldest and second largest city in France and is a multicultural melting pot whereby grit and grandeur coexist seamlessly. Located on the Mediterranean Sea, Marseille is a city that will charm you with its beautiful blue waters and historic old town. From its dazzling old port to the legendary Chateau d'If and its incredible natural harbour, there's never a dull moment in this age-old city. The historic Stade Vélodrome Stadium, that has been renovated three times since it opened in 1937, will play host to four pool matches, including England's tricky opening encounter against Czechos Pumas and Scotland's opening tie against reigning champions the Springboks, plus two of the quarterfinals. It also played host to England's famous victory against the Wallabies in 2007 on their unexpected run to the final, and last year was the scene for the first of La Rochelle's two European Cup triumphs against Leinster. Nantes. Nearly a thousand kilometers up the west coast from Marseille, Brittany's historic capital Nantes may be a lesser known host city in comparison to the others. However, recently reborn as one of France's most dynamic and culturally progressive cities, Nantes is a city that wears its innovation on its sleeve, whilst its ever-changing skyline is anchored by medieval roots and its rich maritime heritage. Located in the northwest of France on the Loire River, for rugby fans, the city is most famous for playing host to one of the World Cup's most iconic matches back in 2007, as Fiji ran in four tries to beat Wales 38-34 at the Stade de la Beaujard and took their place in the quarterfinals. Open in 1984, Stade de la Beaujard is the home of Ligue 1 side FC Nantes and also hosted matches at UEFA Euro 1984 and FIFA World Cup 98. Four matches are scheduled to be played at the Stade de la Beaujard, with Japan's meeting with the Pumas on the final day of the pool stage, the highlight for fans in town, in what could be the deciding tie for the final place in the knockouts. Nice. With its mix of real city life, old world opulence, year-round sunshine, vibrant street life, and stunning seaside location, no place in France compares with Nice. Situated in the Côte d'Azur to the west of Monaco, there'll be plenty for fans to get up to in between matches, from relaxing on its beaches to soaking up the local art scene and eating Niceois style. Home to Ligue 1 club OGC Nice, Stade de Nice is another World Cup 22-3 host venue that also staged matches during Euro 2016, but has only ever hosted one rugby test previously. The stadium hosted its only test in 2019 when Maxim Medas scored two tries to help France with a 32-3 win over Scotland. Stade de Nice is scheduled to host four matches during the World Cup, with Wales, England, Japan, Italy and Scotland among the teams that will play on its manicured turf. England's encounter with Japan on the 17th of September appears to be the pick of the fixtures and promises to be a nail-biter, with Steve Borthwick coming up against his old side. saint -Etienne. Saint-Étienne, located in east-central France, is the smallest city to host at this World Cup. Historically an industrial and manufacturing powerhouse, with the decline of those industries, it's now reinvented itself as a design hub and has been nicknamed the City of Design. One of the city's most famous designs is surely the Stade Geoffroy Guichard, which opened in 1931 and is the oldest stadium selected as a host venue for the World Cup. The stadium hosted three pool matches at the 07 World Cup, with Scotland appearing in two of those, beating Portugal 56-10 and Italy 18-16. Samoa and the USA, meanwhile, contested a 46-point thriller, and the former will return to play Argentina there on the 22nd of September. Four matches are scheduled to be played at the Stade Jeffy Guichard this World Cup, with Australia, Fiji and Italy also appearing alongside Argentina and Samoa. And finally, to the French capital, a global centre for art, fashion, gastronomy and culture, its 19th century cityscape is crisscrossed by wide boulevards and the River Seine. Beyond such landmarks as the Eiffel Tower and the 12th century Gothic Notre Dame Cathedral, you'll find the Stade de France in Saint-Denis. Built for the FIFA World Cup in 98, France's national stadium has since also become home to the country's rugby team. The Stade de France is one of just two stadiums in the world to have hosted both football and rugby union finals, alongside the Nissan Stadium in Yokohama, Japan. In total, Stade de France has hosted 97 men's test matches, including a Rugby World Cup 1999 quarterfinal and the France 2007 final. South Africa beat England in both of those matches, and the Springboks will return to the iconic stadium on the 23rd of September to play against Ireland, the first time that fixture will be played at the Rugby World Cup. 
In total, Stade de France will host 10 matches at the World Cup, including the mouth-watering opening match between the Bleu and the All Blacks, both semi-finals, the bronze final and the final. Fans with tickets to any of those matches will of course find plenty to do away from the action, with the chance to visit world leading museums, heritage sites and much, much more. So for all those travelling to France to watch the World Cup, whether you're enjoying the nail-biting action on the pitch or sampling the thousands of years of culture and gastronomical delights off it, the World Cup this September in France is set to be the most enjoyable yet. Sunshine, culture, food, wine and rugby. What's not to like?